How to let go. I've made a lot of videos, podcasts on the subject of letting go and I'll keep making a lot of content on the subject of letting go because it is something that we should all cultivate more and more in life. And even though it's a simple concept, it doesn't mean that it's necessarily an easy one and it doesn't mean that there's no need for effort and discipline. The problem in this world in our education, nobody's really teaching us to let go. We have to go to some temple, to some meditation retreat, to some yoga center. But this is a skill that we should all have. Letting go. And why letting go, I mean that we should surrender the negative things that happen to us emotionally inside, right? And how is, does it relate to manifestation, law of attraction, etc.? Simple. When you let go of all the negativity, your life flows. You are in a higher vibration. You have fewer negative thoughts. You have less resistance, less doubt, less fears, less unwholesome negative emotions, feelings, and thoughts. Therefore, whatever you want in your life will come to you much more effortless because your self-love will be increased. Your confidence will be increased. Your faith will be increased. Your perseverance, skills, and talents will be increased. And all that good stuff. What I'm trying to say, the more you let go, the more good you will have and the less negative, quote-unquote, you will have in your life. As simple as that. Yes, you don't need to let go of everything to get what you want. But I'm trying to say right now, my point is that you will gain tremendously for knowing how to let go. The big stuff, the small stuff, and anything in between. So what does it mean to truly let go? What we mean by letting go is surrendering and allowing anything in our experience to happen. And what I mean by that is inside, in our minds, we do not push anything away, we do not dwell on anything, and by anything, I mean negative, negativity. We just let it be and let it happen. Without labeling, without wishing for it to go away, without pushing anything away, nor do we wish for it to stay. Obviously, well, I'm, I'm not necessarily emphasizing on the not wanting it to stay because obviously when negative thoughts, emotions, and feelings come about, we want them to leave. But when you surrender, you do not push anything away. You do not dwell on it. But you do not push it away either. And I will get back to this point later. But that, what, that is what surrendering and letting go means. It means we are allowing to be with it and not judge it. And not label it. And I'm talking more so about emotions and feelings right now. Because when we have thoughts, we know that they are negative. We can flip them or just let them go. We have a choice. I think both of them are great. But just letting go in general will suffice. So the concept of letting go is very simple. And it need not be more complicated than what I just said. Obviously, in practice, it might take some time. And yes, at the beginning, you might be questioning, am I doing it right? Even as an intermediate, as more advanced, you might question because the mind will try to trick you. The book, um, I've seen it in my life, but the, this, uh, the great David Hawkins in his book, Letting Go, talks about how the ego will try to trick you at every corner when you start letting go. The e one of the tricks of the ego, I read this from the book, Letting Go, is that the ego will make you believe that this is not working. Will make you have doubts about the practice of letting go and surrendering. Can you imagine? And why is this important? It's important to note because when you reach this stage, it means that what you are doing is so efficient and the ego is scared. The ego is terrified because now you have a weapon to destroy it. And I'm not saying this with a grain of salt. I'm not exaggerating this claim at all. Letting go is crucial. Letting go is how you get what you want. 
what you really want is how you become a higher being and how you let go of the smaller self and get closer to the higher self that's how you vibrate higher that's why you feel higher that's exactly how you reach enlightenment i mean not in a couple of months obviously that's not what i'm saying there's no shortcut to it but what i'm trying to say is letting go is a necessary skill no matter what you want in life no matter what is your purpose in life even if you lost right now letting go is still the best one of the greatest tools you can incorporate in your arsenal so to speak so as i said letting go is surrendering whatever is happening inside letting it go letting it happen and letting it be not questioning do not thinking about the more thoughts just letting it be and that's a concept from all the religions of the east but it was really really intellectually put in words by david hawkins in my opinion i think me being from a buddhist background and reading his book made a lot of sense and i love that i have both the teachings of the east and the intellectual um, way of seeing it from the west obviously david hawkins was very very influenced by the teaching of the east especially buddhism and he was an adept at meditation and let it go is pretty much meditating to be fair and that's a very very important skill to learn and to discipline yourself to have as much as you possibly can but how do we go now okay what are the benefits of, of, of letting go as i said i as i said briefly at the beginning when you let go of the desire for example you will reach your destination faster and more effortlessly when you let go of the struggle when you let go of your ego things will happen more effortlessly and when you let go of negativity you'll have more positivity obviously but it makes sense to understand it's very clear that when the more we let go the more our lives become effortless inside you'll be happier and outside you will get what you want much more effortlessly i'm not even joking about this i made a bunch of videos and podcasts on this before this one so you can go check them out because i don't want to re reiterate my point so much because i made a lot of content on this already and this is not the point of my video this point of this content this piece of content i'm making right now is about how to let go and how to actually make it happen in your life and this is very interesting for me because i have learned how to let go from the perspective of the buddhist meditation and i'm still doing this from this perspective but i learned a few techniques and a few other ways to go about it from the west obviously the concept i've just told you in the intellectual form is from david hawkins the way i said surrender and let it happen the way i said it the way i paraphrase this is directly from david hawkins letting go book but obviously the 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 the, the essence of it is from anything and everything that is regarding meditation more specifically for me buddhism and vipassana inside meditation for those of you who are familiar with those terms so now that we have talked about the concept of letting go how should we make it a practice and there's a couple of ways the first way that i strongly recommend is meditate at the very least once per day twice even better three times even better especially before you sleep and when you wake up in the morning those are the two best times why because before you sleep you are letting go of your conscious mind and you're more aware of what is happening the the con of doing it before you go to sleep is that you are generally very tired and you will tend to fall asleep so 
you have to try to find a way not to be too tired before you meditate before you go to sleep the best time is usually in the morning when you wake up because that is when you have the most energy and your conscious mind has not been activated so much that you can still be very very calm and peaceful now it doesn't mean that you cannot meditate when you are not calm or peaceful but at the beginning it's easier so you you can get used to the practice without too much distraction because you already have distraction inside at the beginning i'm not telling this i'm not saying this to dissuade you from actually starting but i'm just telling you as it is at the beginning it can be a bit turbulent but it is completely normal and it is something that you should accept and allow and let go and surrender obviously so meditation is number one and i've made uh, content on meditation i will not talk about the specifics of meditation right now but if you want me to do more content on meditation please let me know in the comments by email or whatever way you want to reach me so meditation is number one the second one is something i've heard quite recently that i've been doing quite for some time naturally without knowing this particular practice but when i heard this from michael a singer the author of the untethered soul and the surrender experience it made me do it even more intensely so to speak the practice of letting go is as simple as as i said letting everything happen allowing it to happen but how do we deal with letting go when something is overwhelming something is strong and taking over and overwhelming us michael a singer said on a podcast with uh, tony robbins and his wife sage that you have to learn how to start letting go of the small stuff don't wait until you get to the big stuff learn how to let go on your day to day i'll give you a few examples when you let go you start letting go of let's say for me when i'm on my motorbike I get angry when people are too slow in front of me. You know what I mean? When you're in a queue, you can get angry because you're waiting. When you're waiting for a friend who is late, you let go of those small irritations. On a day to day, those things that are not noteworthy most of the time, that you do not think about it so much, or maybe you do, and that's when you should let go. Or you have a or someone has been rude to you or a friend has said something that has triggered you those are the small things that 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 buy away at your joy of life at the energy of life which is happiness and fulfillment and joy so we let go of those small irritations that we have on a day to day we just let go of them and how do we let go of them as i said we just surrender to it we understand the thing i would do generally speaking when it happens is just oh i let go of it it's okay it's all good we we can find a mantra an affirmation something that works for us you know i generally tend to go about my day and when something happens i just take deep breaths i'm like especially when i get angry because like when i'm in traffic and i'm on my motorbike and i see some people in front of me that are super slow it drives me nuts i'm just being honest it drives me nuts the thing i would do is like i i feel it directly so i would just go directly to the feeling and take deep breaths and that is by the the few first seconds but then after it's okay it's all good you know because generally speaking what happens when you let when you do not let go of this emotion and those thoughts you have this negative anger coming right and you will start having thoughts like how dare those and you insult them in your mind you will argue with them in your mind say how dare they are so slow blah 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 yada 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 and you'll get crazy and spiral you know so something you could have let go in a few seconds in a few minutes will lead to more anger more frustration and more negative angry thoughts and that's why we let go at the beginning because when we let go when i on my motorbike and i see this i catch myself directly i take deep breaths i let it go and you know what it's all good i feel a tiny fraction 
I feel 1% of something that I care about easily led me to be overwhelmed by anger and frustration. And you know what? Take 30 minutes or an hour of my day of this precious energy we all have. This precious happiness we should all sustain. And we should not let things like that drive us crazy. No pun intended. So yeah, letting go is a muscle. Letting go is a muscle you practice. But you practice it with every single frustration you can get in your life. Then, at, of course, at the beginning and even later, it's not something that you will be able to do all the time. Because it needs constant awareness. What I'm trying to say is you need to hone your awareness as much as you possibly can. And when you develop this muscle of letting go the big stuff will not so happen so often and when the big stuff happen you will still be able to let go especially if you couple this with meditation and you really get for more familiar with letting go you'll see it's like riding a bike it comes naturally it's something you do naturally and you will see how much you're aware and i always recommend to people to when they start this process don't start letting go directly for a whole week, just survey, quote-unquote, your thoughts. Look at your thoughts. For one week, just be aware of your thoughts. Don't do anything about them. Just be aware. You will see how much negative, how much negativity you are actually cultivating in your mind without knowing it, without being aware of it. And that's the beauty of meditation and honing your awareness. When you start meditating, you become more aware, you become more attuned with your feelings and emotions and of course your thoughts. So the thought, the negative thought that will come to your mind and let and spiral, you will be able to see them when they come directly. And then that's when you let go. That's when you intend. That's when you make a choice to let go. Because then after you have no excuse. There's no excuses anymore. You have no reasons because you know what to do. You know how to do it. So every time something is, you have let it happen before it was more un unconscious because you were not aware. But now that you're aware, you can decide, you can intend to let it go. And yes, it doesn't mean you can do it perfectly all the time. It doesn't mean that you won't have doubt about a practice, but it is as simple as allowing, as letting it happen, as letting it be and surrendering to it and not, not letting it grow. By allowing, you do not push it away. You do not persist. That's not letting go. That's actually making it grow. So you just let it happen. You take a few deep breaths. You find a mantra, affirmations, that works for you, what works for me is that I let go, I cancel this thought, maybe not cancel this thought, cancel this thought is for other stuff, this is for limiting beliefs, but when I say letting go, I say I let go, I surrender it to it, I allow it to happen, like I said this, like the way I, I say it in my mind, the way I just said it, like calmly, you know, I don't like, oh, I surrender it, you know, I'm not angry, I'm not intense about it, so okay, I'm calm, I let it go, do a few other affirmations I use is all good. It's all good. It's okay. No worries. It's all good. And I just keep repeating this and I just let it happen. And you will see how fast, how quickly you can let resistance and negativity fade away when you don't push it away. When you allow it to happen. It's, it's really, when you think about it, it's almost counterproductive. It's like, how come? Like, we are taught so much willpower in our lives, especially in the West, right? We're like, we think that we can push, we can, we can work ourselves out of everything, kill ourselves, keep our nose to the grindstone, you know, and get whatever we want. And it is true in certain cases, but not when it comes to this. Like, you would think that, like, okay, I have a negative thing, I have an angry, oh, I'm going to push it away, I'm going to use hard work and willpower to force it out. And what happens is it becomes stronger. But when we let go, we're not necessarily doing much about it. We're just allowing it to happen. We cushion the blow, so to speak. We roll with the punches. And then what happens? It fades. Very quickly. And the more you do it, the more amazing it becomes. And the more like magic it will feel. So that's all for today. Remember... Let go of everything negative. 
small, neutral, big. Just let it go. And you don't need to think, what am I going to let go of? Don't worry. <laughs> we all have a lot of things to let go of. Think about your day-to-day. -day. When Let go of everything. You wake up, you feel tired, let go of it. You have a negative thought, let go of it. Someone tell you, tells you something that makes you angry, let go of it. There are plenty of things to let go of, don't worry. Just let go of the things that are frustrating. Let go of the things that are negative. Let go of things that are painful. Let go of things that make you angry, that makes you tired. All that stuff. You'll see, it's like a muscle. Just train it. I strongly advise you to train this muscle. It's the most important muscle you can train. And it will get bigger and stronger and more and more beautiful. Thank you so much for listening. If you have any questions, please let me know. I'm Sebastian. I am a manifestation, meditation, and mindset coach. My, my information is in the description box below. Thank you so much for listening, and I'll see you very soon.